So I now have a question for us, for all of us here, because we're all part of like a community or a culture of whatever, diversity, whatever. But do we ever, do you guys ever feel like the, 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 the group that you're in, the cultural group or whatever, traps you? Do you ever feel like there are certain expectations on you that you feel you have to fulfill? Or do you ever feel like, or do you just say, screw it, I don't care? How do you deal with it? I never want to write the same play twice. So any time the facts come up, or you know, I, I, you know, I close those doors, or, or I've gone, no, this is what I'm working on now. This is how I tell myself because this is a totally different form, and I'm not going to work. This is the realm I'm working in. So I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty strong believe that it, you have to follow the artist's voice, and, and in that sense, I'm interested in something that challenges me every time. And so I. Do I feel that pressure from from inside my community? No. I feel it from outside my community where they're like, no, but we recognize you as this. And, and your place, this play does this. Can you do another one that does that? No. I can write something for you. And it will, you know, it might move you. It might, it might enrage you. All these things. But I, I, I can't write the same play twice. Yeah, I, I have felt very trapped in being a gay playwright. And, you know, I've had people say things to me like, well, you know, we can't do poor Superman because we don't have a gay mandate. And I say, well, you know, if you look at the play, there's only one gay person in it, one transsexual, and, and, and three straight people. So I think your gay mandate is not something you need to worry about. But even more than that, I, I feel very much like um, I'm not the same writer at 53, but I was at 23 or 33 or 43. And part of what I want to do is expand what I write about and the things that I look at in the world that I look at. And I did a show a couple of years ago in Manchester called Five at Fifty, written for five 50-year-old women, because I was so sick of like all these wonderful actresses having no work. And it's a really hard-hitting comedy about alcoholism and stuff, and it did really well in, in Manchester, got great reviews, sold like crazy. And I can't get anyone in Canada to do it. And I can't get them to give me a reason why. I mean, what actually, another artistic director in Calgary said to me, it's not really in our mandate. Again, yeah, like whatever that is. What is your mandate? Like not to do Brad Fraser plays? Because that's really freaking me out. But as I talk to people, and as I listen to people who've done readings of the play and things, I really think the reason that the artistic directors here that know me don't want to do it is because I wrote it. If it had been written by anybody else, and most especially a woman, they would be doing it like that. But I think the idea of Brad Fraser wrote a play for five 50-year-old women I mean, they just don't even like having to admit that I would even try to do that because it kind of goes against everything they want to stereotype me as, as a writer. And, and the need to fight that all the time, I think, is probably part of having a career with any kind of longevity, is that everybody's going to come up against that. Everybody's going to come up against, why aren't you writing that great stuff like you did when you were 29? Well, I'm not fucking 29. I'm 53. I don't want to be the bad boy of Canadian theater. How about somebody let me grow up? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I get that a lot. I don't mind it because, like, 